Hello, we are Preta Terra. I am Paula, an agroforestry designer. I'm Walter, I'm a forest engineer and agroforestry designer. And today we're going to show you a little bit of the operations and the equipment, the tools we use in the management of our agroforestry systems. And now we are going to present the tools we are going to use in the management of our agroforestry today. This is a brush cutter that we use, tell you how to use in the next seconds. And some um, personal equipment, uh, protection equipment you have here. Ear muffs, so you have ear protection. You can wear those like this. What else? Together with glasses, eye protection, so you can use them both. We have gloves, of course and shin guards for your legs, especially when, when you are using the brush cut. What else we have? Also here we have the basic uh, tools and equipment to management, to agroforestry management. So uh, here we have the machete and of course you need a file to make sure your machete is properly sharpened. That's one thing. Also we have the pruning scissors many sizes, many shapes of pruning scissors and also the pruning saw as well. This is a bigger one but we also can use a foldable one which goes in your uh, tool belt over here when you can take your tools to the field to work. Let's go! And for the brush cutter we need to prepare the fuel, the gasoline. That's a steel two-stroke, so what do we need? This two-stroke oil, this is 150 and one liter of gasoline. So you have to make the proper mixture, since it's a uh, uh, 150 portion. What we need is the 150 two-stroke oil, and then we have to mix it to the half, where you have this mark right here, that is written uh, 20 milliliters, and then we mix that with the one liter of gasoline we have here. Easy as that. So we move a little bit to have it well mixed. Uh, always uh, don't forget to know if it's 150 that you're going to use uh, 50 milliliters. Then what you need to do is fill up this right here. Let's turn this so you can see better. We're going to fill up it doesn't go beyond half a liter, so that's everything we need. We still have half a liter here, saved. Careful, keep all caps on. Then, we pop this little guy here. We don't need much, like three, four times, until you see the fuel coming in. That's enough. Then what you're gonna do is, just turn the this up here, so half closed, and then we start. We push start, block, and when we first hear the first stroke, we keep start, but now we move and we open. So right after we cleaned up between the lines, we need to be careful 
along the tree lines and of course we use a mow a hoe this time so we come with the with the mow with the hoe in the very close to the tree and just find the grass and remove all the grasses from the from the tree and, and the grasses we have here this african grass will be our main source of soil covering and nitrogen now. And what I'm gonna do is use the hoe, the, the, the hake, and we're gonna hake all the biomass towards the line. So you can organize the biomass that was in between, and now it will help to prevent the grass to invade or to grow along the tree line. And we have a pretty much cleaner inter interline where we can plant and go other crops. Okay guys, so this is an African mahogany, so it's a timber tree. So since it's a timber tree, we want it to go straight upward. So we want to remove all the undesirable branches like this one. This one, uh, it, grow, uh, it, it was grown much faster than the, the main branch. So we have to remove it very uh, cleanly in a way that the tree will be able to heal. So once we remove the secondary branch and it has to be a very clean cut, the tree will start growing upward again and the tree will create a proper timber for us to harvest. Like 20 years from now, of course. Okay, so guys, this is an eucalyptus and it's here for timber. So we're going to show you how you prune uh, an older timber tree. So of course, these branches, they're not interested for us, interesting for us. So you just remove them from the base like this. And this little scar over here, it will heal this small cut. So we just remove all these tiny branches and make sure that they won't span all the energy of the tree growing and so the tree will spend this its energy growing up and getting fatter to produce a bigger and proper timber and you, you can see here the other branches that we removed in the previous years uh, how they healed and closed the scar like this and we can prune actually until we leave like one third of the original uh, crown of the tree. And of course, now we have a lot of biomass. And well, since I am not that tall, I cannot reach the higher branches. But eventually you can use some kind of ladder or something like that to get to the higher branches. That's it. And now what we're gonna do is a pruning for biomass production. What we have here is a nitrogen fixer. That says Guandu, Cajanus Cajan or Pigeon Pea. I think everybody knows, but you see, we already have the beans, we could use them. We can plant, we can eat. And what you're going to do now is guarantee that this guy here will regrow and you are going to use this nitrogen uh, super source here to feed our soil. How we do this? I can, use, I can use the pruning scissors to make it easier and, but not so fast. And of course, you're gonna 
leave all this here in my soil or I can simply make this first using a machete and just cut all the branches and make them all down and just guarantee that I will have at least one piece of steel green to make photosynthesis and guarantee that the plant will regrow. I don't need all these branches. What I need here now is light coming into the system and all the soil covering that this plant can provide. That's in less than a minute, I can prune this whole bean to the very end. As you see, I have now it's all pruned. And now we are going to prune a more uh, dense tree. This is a Inga, the uh, genus Inga. And what you're gonna do is prune that using the saw. Very similarly, uh, you take out some of the branches. Then I will prepare those for biomass. that can be distributed in the soil. I can also use pruning scissors when the branches are not so big. I need this guy to regrow properly. So, I can leave some of the branches, not much, to guarantee that more biomass will be produced. It's also a nitrogen fixer, and I can also make it smaller. It's not useful to have a tree too big to be pruned, to be pruned later on in my system. Sometimes I prefer to have a bush-like tree that I can easily access and I cannot compromise the capacity of doing photosynthesis. So now what I have is a brush, a bush, that I can take off some of the undesirable branches and let it regrow all from inside and make a new bush. It still has too much biomass here. I don't need those guys here. And what I have is loads of biomass from my soil. So here we have a mango, a fruit tree, and we are going to demonstrate how we should do the pruning in a fruit tree. So our objective here should be to open the crown of the tree so that it's, uh, it receives more sunlight. So first of all, we remove the branches that, go, that grows from inside to inside of the, of the crown. That's the first thing. Usually, we remove the, crown, the, the branches in a way that we leave three to four main branches and each one of them will ramificate, will grow to three new branches and three new branches. That's the logic of, of the pruning of a fruit tree. So here we have one branch, two branches, three branches over here. So I'm going to remove one of them. Okay. And we need to make sure that the tree opens its crown like this. So we will remove all the branches that grow uh, from the inside all, or that, so that the weight of the branch will make it grow this way. So I can remove this other one over here. And now it's much opened, much clearer. And from each of these branches that we left, this one is going to ramificate again and grow two, three new branches. This one with three new branches. These ones over here also with three new branches and this one as well. So we need to prune this tree in a way that it's not that taller, that we can reach the fruit and pick up the fruits when they are good to, to the harvest.
One of the equipment you're going to use today to manage our agroforestry is the brush. Uh, <laughs> okay, gotcha. 